Well, we're gonna install this thing on this tractor now. My last video was the unboxing. If you wanna go see that, go look at it. It's my previous video. But we're setting up the uh, antennas now and the globes. Or the GNSS antenna, as they call them. But I already got this bar put together. It's three pieces. You slide it together, put four bolts in. And then now we're going to slide these brackets over it, which will actually go onto the two holes on the cab roof. I'll just bolt them down with that. Should work yet, I think, with the light bar bracket. But if it doesn't, I'll have to make some modifications to the light bar bracket. I mean... How many people have a light bar on their tractor? Not many, but yeah, so we're gonna put the uh, GNSS antennas, as they call it, up through here, one on each side, and then we gotta mount the other antennas as well, which is eight and nine, 4G antenna and radio antenna. Well, we got it all set up. Got both the antennas on here. Got the radio antenna and the 4G antenna put on here. Everything's labeled. And it tells you right where to go. So far the instructions are actually pretty good. So I guess the next step is mounted on the cab. I got these loose. At least I did. And I can adjust that to the hole. And then once I'm up there I can tighten them down. So time to climb on top. Well I got it all bolted up on the cab. I didn't have to do any modifications here. So it just worked. So. Yeah, they hang over the cab a little bit, but that's how they go. Guess we start in the cab next. Pull a steering wheel. Maybe we'll do the wheel sensor, actually. I have to figure that one out. Because most of the time they're on front with assist, so I don't know how, what we're going to do for a two-wheel So I'm looking at the wheel now. angle deal. It says remove one bolt... One of the pivot bolts on the front axle. So according to this picture, to me, it looks like that part turns with the tire. So this is honestly the easiest thing to install. Pop the bolt out, stick it on, tighten it back up. So, because this will turn with the tire. That's so it. So I got it temporarily mounted in here. I have to make sure I can actually go into D-range and get the steering wheel up at the same time. So it's, we might have to make changes, but... I bolted it right to the monitor bracket. I'm thinking I should go to the back hole maybe. And I could give myself a little more room here. But I still want it like I can reach up and touch it like this. So um, I don't know. Once we get the steering wheel on here we'll have a better idea. Because like I got to get what like even where I'm at I can't I can't do it. So but that'll work for now. But they give you uh, two little U-bolts. You're supposed to clamp to a pipe. I just went right to the monitor bracket. So, well, I got all the uh, adjustment stuff off. Got the nut off. And I see they got two little holes here for a puller. Well, I don't have the puller. But I'll use my best tool I ever purchased. Air hammer. And we'll just buzz her off, I think. Well, after completing an emotional experience, I have managed to get the steering wheel in my hand. It's been there since 82. I almost guarantee it. I have concluded that number four sleeve is the one that fits on here. Yeehaw. Well, I got the wheel slid over the shaft. So you take your sleeve and there's six little Allen screws. You screw it to your wheel. And then they got probably four or five clamps because you got to hold your motor steady. So... Uh, I chose this one because I think it'd work the best. It's going to clamp there and then screw to the back here. But um, there's that little E-clip right in there. You got to take that out. You're going to have to take this plastic little sleeve off. Which isn't a big deal. I mean, you don't even see it sitting here. First impressions of the wheel on the tractor. I kind of like it. It's smaller than the original wheel. Like the diameter. But these tractors turn so easy anyway that... I feel like the big wheel is kind of unnecessary anyway. Like the new combines, the wheels are really small. You can really turn them quick. So I, I don't know. I kind of like it. That's one thing I was kind of worried about was the wheel. And I'm not worried anymore. I actually generally like this wheel. 
it's comfortable too. Well, I got one harness just connected to the battery temporarily to see if it powered up, which it does. So, this is my first time choosing anything English. And I guess we're going to need to make an account here. This thing looks like a damn tablet here. <laughs> like, even has a keyboard, bro. Google? Damn. Alright, I don't even know if I have an account. I don't think I do. How do you back out of here? I don't know. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. So I got the IMU screwed into the floor. You just screw it right in the floor mat. So it says, place horizontal, the plug facing forward. So put it right here in the corner, out of the way. And I got the screen plugged in. I got the steering wheel plugged in. Um, I didn't tighten this down. I actually took the U-clamp off here. I kind of want to see which way I want that plug to face out before I do that and get it the height adjusted right. But now we'll just find the plug for this one and plug that in. Just start plugging stuff in and then I'll tidy up the wires later. All right, so it's the next day now. Um, I got everything mounted and tight. Now for this nut on here, it's an inch and eighth socket. Well, I couldn't fit an inch and eighth through this sleeve. So I actually had to take the nut to the bench grinder and grind a little bit from the sides. So an inch and a sixteenth socket could get on it because an inch and a sixteenth will fit through this hole, but an inch and eighth wouldn't. But I tried two or three different brands of sockets. I could not get it to fit, but I got that tight. I got the clamp tight, which prevents the motor from spinning. And now we just put the cover on here. There. That's a tight snap. But um, yesterday I got all the wires from the four antennas on the roof just loosely put in here. I running all those up through and then in between the window here then everything else is going to come down through the bottom door um, as far as I know I basically have everything installed I just gotta tighten it up here's the wheel sensor I got that plugged into the harnesses I got it connected to the battery I got the IMU in there. Basically, you start zip tying stuff up, tidy all that up there, and go try it out. It's honestly not too bad to put on, really, once you figure out what you gotta do. So I'm officially done. I got everything zip tied up and mounted. This is the switch to turn the power on. I just took the screw out and then screwed it in there. The power's on, and then we hit the power button up here. And it should turn on, which it is. And then I got all the antenna wires running up through here, zip tied out the window and up there. I'll show you that later. All the extra harness I have looped up in the corner there as best as I can. I mean, there's not much room in these cabs to put wires because we probably didn't think this would be an issue 40 years later. But... There's that. I'll show you out here. I got the power coming off the starter solenoid. And ground over here. Since these are two 6 volt batteries, I thought that'd just be easier. And then we ran the wheel angle wire. I left some slack here so that when it turns, it should be tight. Maybe I should zip tie this up here or something. But run that along the frame rail on top of the toolbox, along the battery box, up and behind here, in through this door. Same as the power wire. And then we climb up here. And there's all kinds of extra wire up here. I zip tied everything up, all the extra loops. I just zip tied right to the bar. Here's another one here. 
and try to do it as cleanly as possible, but it is what it is. And then over to here, I zip tie it up through the screen, down along, and then through the window there. So that's basically it. But uh, I guess it's time to go test it. This door was kind of hard to get closed too. Because we already had other wires running through there and now we just added two more. So put my side panels on, pick some stuff up and go test her out.